Up and Adam, everybody, thank you for joining us. The talk of the Commonwealth is that there are a number of coronavirus vaccine scams that are out there and here to keep us safe from those schemes because they are just out to scam you and grab your money is Nancy Cahalan, President, CEO, Better Business Bureau, serving Central and Western Massachusetts and Northeastern Connecticut. Nancy, good morning. Good morning, Hank. Thanks again for having me on. I don't think we're really surprised that there are a number of scams surrounding the uh, the coronavirus virus vaccine. Um, but frankly, I was a little surprised at the uh, you know the different variations. There's some here that I hadn't even thought of. So um, I think it's worth uh, going over some of these uh, this morning so people know what to look out for. Yeah, let's let's hit hit them because there's a there's a bunch of them. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. So um, you can't pay for pr- uh, priority access. Uh, the government has outlined the vaccine rollout schedule, and there's no way to jump in line. So scammers can tell you that if you pay them money, they'll get you, uh, you know, preferential treatment. That's just not true. They just want your money, or they want your personal information. So a, a second scam we've seen out there that. Um, Scammers are attempting to schedule appointments through like Eventbrite and other um, meeting um, platforms. Um, You won't be doing this. You may have to schedule your appointment for the vaccine, um, but you won't be doing it on Eventbrite. I can promise you that. Scammers uh, will try to steal your personal information when you submit through sign-up forms. So think about it, the information that you'd have to provide, you know, Medicare number, things like that. Um, So... Stay away from um, those schemes. Number three, paying out of pocket for the vaccine. So the the vaccine is expected to be free to everyone in the United States, whether or not you have health insurance. So you shouldn't have to pay for the vaccine, um, nor should you expect a surprise bill after the fact. The government actually wrote into law that the vaccine will pose no cost to Americans. So watch out for that. Four, Requiring a virus test or antibody test before getting the vaccine. So here's something uh, that I didn't think of. Um, There are scams out there that say you'll need proof uh, that you had one of these tests prior to the vaccine. So the scammers are going to give you an opportunity to sign up for those tests, um, and they'll either get money from you or they're going to get your personal information from you uh, during the process. So that's not a thing. You don't have to prove um, that you've had one of these tests uh, before getting the vaccine. So here, number five is similar to uh, jumping in line. Number five is paying to put your name on a waiting list. So everybody technically is on a waiting list. You're on the waiting list until, you know, it's your group is, um, you know, it's their turn. And so um, don't pay to get on a waiting list. Um, You know, it's all based on high risk and high priority. So uh, that's all been figured out. So you can't pay to, to jump ahead. Yeah, I mean, these Here's are a really scary one. Th- th- well, I was just going to say, yeah. I mean, th- these others, the thing is, is uh, just as we're as we're kind of running through them and you're right, we're about to get to uh, to a couple of real scary ones. Some of these, they they, they really are very similar, aren't they? It is this whole uh, we want you to pay for this mm-hmm. access. We want you to pay for the vaccine. We want you to, you know, pay to put your name on a waiting list. All of which, if you're if you're following the news, you would hopefully know that that is you don't have to do any of that. And so that anybody who's asking you to do those things, it clearly is a, a scam. I think part of what this goes and shows is uh, is that not everybody is tuned into the nightly news on their TV. Not everybody is reading the paper. There's millions of people out there who, mm-hmm. you know, I, and and. Rightfully so. They're just going about their their daily lives and they're saying, hey, you know, when I'm in the car, I pop in my audio book or I pop in my CD. And, uh, you know, I'm not up on everything that's going on with how the government is rolling out the vaccine. I'm just waiting for when I think it's going to be my turn. Right, right. So um, and a lot of people, unfortunately, their primary source for news is social media. So that where we have the problem of them getting um, news that may not be uh, 
accurate. Yeah. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, they just have to be vigilant and um, and make sure that they get their information from reliable sources like, like the CDC, like um, the city of Worcester has a public health uh, posting online that gives you all this information. So uh, make sure you use reliable and credible sources. Um, Absolutely. All right. So, uh, so there were eight yeah. biggies, and we had gotten through those those top five. But, yeah, yeah just be careful out there, gang, especially right. when you're on social media because that's where they, they, mm-hmm. they know that's where we live. Yeah. Number six is um, a really scary one. Apparently, um, there there's a scam out there that you can get the dose shipped to you for a fee. So I don't know what you're supposed to do with it once you get it. Um, but it's not being shipped anywhere except to medical centers and pharmacies involved in the rollout. You cannot get it shipped to your home. Um, and anyone that promises to do that, it's a fake. So uh, they're just trying to collect your personal information or your mm. financial information um, in order to trick you into uh, doing this. Uh Scam seven, there's emails, there's text messages, there's phone calls, and they're from fake vaccine centers and insurance companies. And um, so they're trying to get your personal information. They're asking you, um, they're saying that you're eligible to receive the vaccine, but you, you know, you need to give them some information. Don't do it. Uh, You're not going to get... You're not going to learn about your, you know, the rollout through a text message. And frankly, uh, there's a, a limited, um, just like robocalls, a limited um, use of text messages. Businesses aren't a- allowed to text message you unless you've signed up and said it's okay. So um, things like you, you get like that out of the blue really shouldn't be trusted. And the final thing on the list is that online ads for the vaccine um, from unofficial sources. Hmm. So that mm-hmm. sounds really awful. Um, they're, they're advertising COVID-19 vaccines as if it was any other product, you know, like a mask or uh, antiseptic wipe or something. Um, any advertisement that doesn't come from an official public health source is likely attempting to lead you to a phishing website where they're going to steal your personal information and your financial information. So this, uh, again, COVID, um, the uncertainty, the fear, uh, scammers delight in those kinds of um, circumstances, and it helps them um, get their phony messages across and talk people into providing their personal information or money uh, and you know for a scam yeah absolutely and and really the the thing is is on you know on the one hand uh, I'm sort of geared up Nancy to make sure that people don't get my you know they don't get my money like like, like the, the ones that, that you were talking about here today and they're gonna I'm gonna ship this to you for a, a fee and then you know my radar can go up that the tougher mm-hmm. ones, I think, are the ones where they are trying to get me to give up, you know, my identity. And they're going to make that that phone call mm-hmm. uh, that, you know, th- again, these guys are just so good at it. That's going to be from that insurance company or something else, because I'm already, you know, inundated with calls from people who are legit, you know, who want me to sign up for for different yeah, things exactly. and, and, and everything. Right. So it's right. yeah, it, I have it's an tough actual out there. Exam- I have an actual example that was reported to Scam Tracker. They're not from our service area, but if it's happening somewhere, it could happen here too. And um, they stated, "I gave the scammer my Medicare number and confirmed my name and address." That's what they reported. He uh, he said he was going to come to my house to administer administer the COVID nineteen wow. uh, test and then the vaccine, but he never showed up. Well, thank goodness. Yeah. That's yeah. all I can say. Thank I goodness know. he didn't show up. So, um, you know, it's just there's no end to what they can create, uh, these schemes and scenarios. Um, the, the scammers are, are very creative. Yeah, boy, they sure are. All right. Well, we are, are warned once again, thanks to you, Nancy. We appreciate it in the Better Business Bureau. Well, it's my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me on. All right, everybody, uh, thank you. Nancy joins us each and every week. Nancy Cahalan, President and CEO, Better Business Bureau, serving Central and Western Massachusetts and Northeastern Connecticut. There's some of the scams that are out there right now. Uh, Better Business Bureau, serving Central and Western Massachusetts and Northeastern Connecticut. 
located right here in Worcester on 400 Grove Street. So uh, make sure that you you contact them. You got something something fishy, or uh, if you're an organization and you don't have that BBB seal of approval, believe me, you want to make sure that, that that you get it. Not everybody gets it, so contact Nancy for that as well.